Thank you, thank you. Welcome to this fabulous show, Cooking and Questions. I'm your host, The Sixth, and thank you for tuning in. Today I have a very special Christmassy guest. Uh, you might you might say that I would not be where I am today without her. Literally, today on the show, I'm gonna have my mom, Melissa. Come on out, mom. Thank you for having me. <laughs> Thank you for being on the show. I really appreciate it. We're going to have a lot of fun today. So uh, tell us, what, what are we cooking today? We are cooking cashew pumpkin biscuits. That's right. Cashew pumpkin seed biscuits. Oh, yeah. So we're using cashews and pumpkin seeds to make biscuits, if, if that wasn't clear enough. Uh, we have a lot of food allergies, and so these are one of the few things that we can actually eat that is delicious. And it, it's, it's just a really good recipe. Maybe not specifically Christmassy, but it's a, it's a good recipe, so that's what we're going to be making today. And then, during the quick time when we're going to be baking these biscuits, uh, we're going to be answering your questions. That's right, if you sent in a question, commented a question last week on uh, the, my YouTube channel, then we will be answering your question. I think we're going to be answering all of them. Wow. The two of us. Yeah, it's going to be a lot. There's like 13 questions. So, hang in for that. Let's get started. I don't know. Welcome back to the show. Uh, it's pretty hot in here, and I think it's me, but oh, we had to take our hats off because it is warm. Uh, so, Mom, what are we doing first? Well, it's a pretty simple recipe. We are just going to add all the ingredients to one bowl and mix it. Wow, okay. Pretty simple. Sounds like a plan. We've done all of the grinding already. So it's cashew. This one's pumpkin. One cup of each. So we're going to add a cup of cashew flour and a cup of the other flour. Pumpkin seed. Pumpkin seed flour. So now what are you doing? Uh, I'm mixing it wow. together. <laughs> Great technique. Great, isn't it? So uh, what 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 is the next? What Basically, you just throw it all in. So throw you it all crack in? the oh, eggs. Okay. Crack the eggs. And we'll do a third a cup of melted coconut oil. Which we pre-melted in the microwave. It's on my bucket list to be able to crack an egg with one hand and no shells. You can do it. I, I gotta learn how to do that one of these days. Lots of practice. Oh, there's two shells in there. <laughs> Terrible. There's egg all over the counter. There it is. Oh, For professionals, we use our hands. So we're gonna add them in. Uh huh. All right. So we add that in. We got two eggs. So sprinkle in one teaspoon of baking soda. Put the coconut oil in. Now we have a secret, uh, a secret ingredient to our cooking that we do here at our hospital. And that is a special baking soda that we use. Yes, that's right. We use a special baking soda. Let me let me show you here. We we only use the fridge and freeze arm and hammer baking soda. Yeah, so it's it's meant to be in your fridge to clean it, I guess. Even it's got this little vent. That's the white stuff on the side. Um, but it says. While fridge and freezer contains pure arm and half hammer baking soda, we do not recommend it for baking as the granulation is designed specifically for deodorizing. After use, pour down the drain while running warm water to freshen. So, how was that? Got the wrong granules, but it, it works. Little purchase. So you added the baking soda uh -huh. and the coconut oil and salt and salt. Wow. And we're ready to put them on the pan. You're just gonna do a one full, and then we're gonna flatten them out. So. Uh -huh. Don't leave some room for them to flatten out. And we're putting it on parchment paper because it makes it so they Tastes come off. like the olden days. And release much easier. Okay, so now we got to flatten them. Yeah. Work. Well, I've tried a couple of different ways. I actually don't remember the best one. I think maybe a fork. I've tried my wet hand. Before two, and like I said, the pros use their hands. I think today, for I don't know, it doesn't work as well as your hand. It gets stuck, so if you just use your hand and 
impressed when they want them pretty flat. So as you can see, we have flattened, <laughs> flattened all of these. That could be exciting. Yeah, it could be. But it could be fun though. It could be. You know what, we could probably just answer some questions right here, right now. Okay, Emily Fees asks, what is your favorite Christmas tradition? Okay, I'll so my it. favorite Christmas tradition, very generally speaking, would be getting together with family at Christmas time. Yeah, that's my most favorite too, I would say. Just, oh man, you still I, No, I, that's what I was thinking, just family. Oh, we don't okay. have too many <laughs> solid family traditions for Christmas, but that is, Getting together with family in general is one of them. All right, so let's see. We got another question. Oh, and it's done. Okay, so now mom is going to care for the. What, are you not gonna use any oven mitts? No. My mom that. is so pro. She puts things in the oven without oven mitts. Okay, so. How long? 15 minutes in the oven. All right. Here we go. All right. What is the most annoying holiday song? Dominion Films asks that. Oh, nice. The most annoying, uh, I think last Christmas. I have to tell you though, I was listening to that one in the car just yesterday and it did not annoy me. Wow. Okay, so, so what's yours? Well, the answer to that question is the one that's actually annoying me. What? <laughs> so Wait. there isn't a specific song, it could change any day. If there's a Christmas song that's annoying me at that moment. What? That's a cop out answer. <laughs> it's just a cop out answer. Okay. So Cameron Sears asks, what's your favorite Christmas memory? That's a hard one. My family lived in Minnesota and I was had to be somewhere around six. And for whatever reason, we still believed in Santa Claus. Santa Claus is real, kids. <laughs> Don't believe my mom. Just listen to the story, it's Sorry. fictional. And so my parents let us, my brother and I, sleep around the Christmas tree on the couch. And so we were gonna be able to see Santa, leave the present. And did well, you see him? No. Oh. <laughs> no, of course I fell asleep. I woke up in the morning and the cookies had been eaten and the presents were there and I didn't see Santa. I think my favorite Christmas memory was when I got my tracker. It's a little spy car that has a camera on it and I really wanted it for Christmas. And my mom and dad were like, you're not expecting that, right? That's kind of on the spending side. And they're like, yeah, no, I'm not expecting it for Christmas. I just hope we get it someday. Lo and behold, I got it that that year for Christmas. So it was, it was a good year. Maybe it was year. Santa. Maybe it was Santa. What year was your favorite <laughs> Christmas? Uh, is what Cameron Sears asks again. 2000. It was my first Christmas when I was a baby. The year 2000, that was a good Christmas. What about you, Mom? Oh dear. My memory fades, because as you'll notice, I'm over 29. So the, one of the most recent Christmas memories that I'm very familiar with was a couple of years back, we went down to Phoenix for the Rush side of the family. Um, Bill and Amy Rush celebrated their 50th anniversary in December, and so all of the family made it back to celebrate that. What's your favorite ornament from Emily Feast? Our tree doesn't really have a theme. We just kind of throw it all on and it's a beautiful mess, like all of us, right? So, um, Mom, what, what's your favorite Christmas ornament? Okay, I well, who was going first. I'm going to point out the ones that I remember being from people when we got married as wedding gifts. So. This um, one came in a set. It's beautiful, very oh, fragile, nice. yeah. very pretty. I was just looking at this one now. Balissa, I guess that's Balissa Bill Company. And Melissa. Established 1996, ship so we got names. married. Yeah, I just was realizing Ship's that. Names Apparently, in that's a ship main name, and I. Bill and Melissa. You guys are sitting here telling me about ship names, and I'm like, what is a ship name? But apparently, it was a thing back then, too. I didn't even realize. I don't know. I mean, I think this one that I made. It's pretty great. <laughs> that is great. I mean, I'm super artistic, so <laughs> I took a, pic, uh, a piece of uh, construction paper and wrote Merry Christmas on it. Oh dear. Tied some string to it. Boom. <laughs> Art. If you want to bid on it in the comments below, I could ship it to you. Oh, you know what? I gotta say, this one is my favorite. What fruit of the spirit best describes Christmas for you? Joseph Van Boxtel asks that. Door to the world, peace on earth, probably peace on earth because we're so divided in our country, in the world. Just need some peace, right? Okay, what about you? What's well, your... there's a lot. I would have to sum it up as love. Lately, I've been thinking about the power of love and 
Like one does. Like one does? Think about the power of love, yeah. And we definitely see at Christmas time the power of love being exemplified in Christ. How many days before Christmas is it acceptable to start playing Christmas music? That's a loaded question. Or it's a controversial question, I see. Uh -huh. I should say. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. uh -huh. what, what do you say? It's a little bit of my philosophy of life is coming out right here. And I would say play Christmas music whenever you want. <laughs> so brave. <laughs> I know. Day after Thanksgiving <laughs> is the day when you can start playing Christmas music. Because there's no more holidays to look for. Uh, do you like eggnog, Master E? Uh, yes and no. Yes, it's delicious and creamy and good. But no, we, we can't really have eggnog because that's a lot of milk and corn syrup and stuff that we can't eat in it. So yes and no. What, what about you? <laughs> do you like eggnog? Well, I do love eggnog. And what I have to say is now we just settle for watching other people enjoy drinking. <laughs> we can have the Martinelli sparkling cider stuff and that's yeah. really good. It's yeah. not, eggnog it's not is, like... is wonderful and I used to enjoy it, but now I can't drink it or I don't want to drink it. Thanks for folding these up so nice. Yeah. Sit tight. You're welcome. <laughs> Anything I can do. That's nice. Okay, what's your earliest Christmas memory? Cameron Sears. It, uh, hmm. hmm. I'm, I'm assuming it's the time that I stayed up when I was about six in Minnesota to see. Santa earliest Claus. Christmas memory. I'm thinking that's probably my earliest one. My earliest memory was. I remember it snowing on Christmas, and that was really cool, and I got a Hot Wheels track thing where it like do loops and shoot through flames or something like that. Uh, I think that was my earliest memory. I don't have a good memory. Are you Jewish? Bob Roberts. No. no. <laughs> we are not Jewish. Uh, we celebrate Christmas, uh, so we're not Jewish. I don't, I'm, I'm curious to know if you're watching this why you think that we might be Jewish. That's, I think that's a compliment. I, I don't know. Uh, are you Jewish, Mom? Not that I'm aware of. Yeah. What is your favorite Christmas cookie, Emily Fee? <laughs> <laughs> What's your favorite Christmas cookie, Emily Fee asks. Um, I suppose we're gonna call these biscuits a cookie. Well, it's delicious can't... with jelly. Honey. It is. Oh, it is delicious so good. with jelly. It's like a little piece of toaster for Yeah. Um, oh yeah, your favorite My favorite Christmas was <laughs> sugar. Sugar cookies, uh, when I could have them. Is that right? Yeah. You went over chocolate chip or anything, huh? I think so, yeah. <laughs> Okay, what's the best gift you ever received? Cameron Sears asks that. Um, probably not the tractor, probably my iPod Touch. We uh, got iPod Touches for Christmas, and that was like mind blowing. I'm like, whoa, I can take my own notes in this thing, I can take my own photos. This thing is amazing. We had like a little shared iPod Touch before that, but when, when I got my own iPod Touch, it was like, wow, this is amazing. What about you? What, what, what is your favorite gift? Gift? Um, well, I don't know. Um, I think... <laughs> you can cut all this out, can't you? I can. <laughs> okay. Because we got married in November, some people gave us Christmas ornaments for our wedding. And so I enjoy looking at those ornaments and remembering that season. I would say those are the ones. The gifts that keep on giving. What's your favorite Christmas movie by Sam Van Boxtel? I don't know. I There's a list of ones that I really enjoy watching. The Shop Around the Corner with Jimmy Stewart. Miracle on 34th Street. And then there was a third one. Some are timeless. I like the timeless ones. Oh, well, I guess It's a Wonderful Life, I would have to say it's timeless too. Mm -hmm. Are those all old movies? Yes. Yeah. They're all old movies, yeah. Mm -hmm. Is anyone surprised? I'm not. <laughs> uh, my favorite movie is Elf. It's just classic, so rewatchable, re you just watch it all the time. Good, solid movie, and we're done! We answered all the questions Crazy while I was baking. Look at that. Amazing. This is the moment of truth, folks. Maybe we'll do just two more minutes. A note to viewers at home, you may need to bake this a little bit longer. 15 minutes to make sure it's ultimately as crispy as possible, but not too crispy. A few minutes later. So our first batch of pumpkin seed cashew, uh, yeah. Biscuits? Pumpkin seed cashew biscuits are done, and uh, let's try them. Here they are, if you want to see. Mmm. 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 Delicious if you don't get to eat much else, else in your world. You've got a good texture. They do have a good texture. It's not overpoweringly. Um, I'm gonna see you. No, you can't really tell her. Nice job, Mom. Aw, oh, thanks.
You too. Thanks for joining us on Christmas Cooking and Questions featuring my mother. See you next week. I probably won't be a kitchen, in the kitchen or in this apron, uh, but <laughs> Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. Goodbye! Goodbye. <laughs> that wasn't cheesy at all. <laughs> it's easier the better. <laughs> yeah, it's true. <laughs>